students here at Valley Home. And today we're going to be talking about and cooking some pantry recipes that um, can be very helpful during the week when you need something very quick, very easy. Um, these are just simple recipes made from um, maybe five ingredients or less, and they're also um, time savers. So you can cook uh, some things ahead and then just add things to it. But we're going to get into that today. Um, I'm going to head us over into the kitchen and we're going to start making some pastas and we're going to have a good time doing it. So just hang in there. We'll be right back. Okay, so we are here with all of our ingredients and so the first thing I've got is a nice onion here and like I was saying we're going to do this with five ingredients or less. I mean you can add more but you know you'll get the gist of it as we go along. So I've got water boiling for my pasta and I probably need to turn that up just a little bit more and we're going to go ahead and peel our onion up and I have a bowl where I'm going to put our vegetables uh, and our um, ingredients so I'm going to do this onion here So I've got my onion here and we're just going to be very careful with this knife. It is very sharp. Peel this onion. I always use a thank you for coming bag because <laughs> I don't want to keep this Kind of a scrap inside of our house so I just put it in a bag and it goes out to the trash. All right we're just gonna cut this up it's not gonna be anything fancy schmancy it's just gonna be uh, cut And then cut again and then we're just going to cut it into some nice little pieces here the last little bit of them kind of gets chopped up like that okay now put that to the side we're going to put all of our onion in the bowl pieces there that had a skin on it and that wouldn't taste too good. Okay, so we got some nice chopped onion here and I'm going to put this aside and we're going to use that later. Um, let's see here. Let me reach over here and get my towel. All right, now next we're going to add some garlic. Now I have black garlic. You can use um, white garlic, um, fresh garlic. I just, for time purposes, I just want to add a little bit of garlic in. Better get this one, because that isn't going to work too well. 
We'll just add a little bit. Okay, maybe, oh, let's do a teaspoon. Okay, so so much for a garlic. And then we're going to do some mushrooms. And I think it'd be better a little bit smaller spoon. <laughs> okay. And we're just gonna get some of these nice nice ones out of the jar here. You can add as much or as little as you want. And I kind of like to chop mine up a little bit. So, you know, we're just going to do a little chop on them. gonna run out of the way. You can kind of put whatever you like in there. Um, you could put some uh, Pecorino Romano cheese is good with this. You can do um, pancetta bacon. Um, you could do some sausage. Uh, today I'm going to be using some Polish sausage just because I have some left over and I can use it this way. Okay, so we've got our next we're going to use some red pepper strips. Now I buy these at the dollar store. I only pay a dollar a jar. I usually stock up on them when I go. Um, they're really very good for an off brand, but if you go to the dollar store, you can find them there. And um, they are really, really good. So what I'm going to do I'm going to take some out. Do it this way. Put it over here. I'm going to take some out. And we're just going to chop them up. Let's give them a little rough chop. We're going to put them in there. Uh, let's see, I might put a little bit more in there because I think it might need it. all of them because there's not that much left in the jar. Okay, I'll set that to the side. Do another little rough chop. There's actually a piece of garlic in there too. Which I'm just going to chop that right in there. Do 
just going to throw those into the mix here. Okay. Now our water is coming up to a boil. And as you can see, we've got our ingredients here. And I'm going to take a piece of Polish sausage. Get a little bit of this cleaned up there. A little bit of this Polish sausage. it into little pieces. Make them in little strips or little chunks, however you want them. Like I said, this is all about what you have in your pantry and fridge. Like I said, it don't have to be perfect. It just needs to be chopped up a little bit. Gonna throw that in there. And actually, I'm going to end up using all of this because I have a church potluck tomorrow, and I'm going to be taking this because I know it's going to be good. But I am going to pause for a minute here and see how my water's doing. Okay, it's almost to a boil, so we'll finish chopping up our sausage and and get that done. You can use smoked sausage. Also, that's another good ingredient. It really is just whatever you like the best. You could add pepperoni. There's just so many things. A plethora of different ingredients that would go well with pastas. Okay, well, we got that pretty much chopped up there. Okay, it looks like our pasta water is boiling. So we are going to add some pasta. that work its way down into the pot. I got a little bit more pasta here that can go in. And I think we're done with that. And we're going to stir our ingredients here. Now here we are. Got them all in there. Let's get our pasta worked down in there. And 
let's let it start boiling again, which it is doing. It's at a rolling boil again. So what we're going to do is I'm going to let this cook and let the pasta come to a point where it's um, tender, not mushy, but tender. And then we're going to take these ingredients and we're going to cook those up just a little bit and we're going to add those to it. Um, and like I said, you know, we're using one, two, three, four, five, maybe six ingredients, but five ingredients, you can make it, you know, just omit one of the ingredients or you can add more. So I'm going to do a little cleanup here. I'm going to cook this pasta and I'll be back when that is done. Okay, so we're back now. I've got my pasta done it's drained and it is sitting over here on the side of the stove now i've got my little saute pan here and we're going to add just a little smidge of some olive oil and we're going to turn our heat up to about medium medium high for just a few minutes. And we're going to get that going. And the other thing I wanted to let you know was that we're going to use some Parmesan and Romano cheese. You can use Pecorino if you like. Um, that, this is just what I happen to have on hand. Um, so we're going to let this come up to heat. Should be kind of heated from when it was cooking the pasta. So let's just put all these beautiful, nice ingredients in here. If there's some things you don't like, that I showed you in this recipe today. You don't have to put them in there. You just put what you like. Sometimes that takes it a minute to, to come up to where it needs to be. So I'm not going to add any salt because I think some of these products already have enough salt in them. I am going to add a little pepper. And then we're just going to kind of let this cook for a few. And come up to a nice sizzle. I love to hear it sizzle. <laughs> Kind of get it incorporated with some of the olive oil. Also, we need to cook down this onion a little bit, so that's why we're kind of cooking this. The sausage is already cooked, but the onion is not. So we will just keep an eye on that. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, keep an eye on this let it cook for maybe another five or six minutes uh, at least until the onions are uh, translucent and then we're going to put this meal all together so just hang in there with me i'll be right back okay so the um Mixture is going to go into the pasta here. It is done. Really just turned it off a few minutes ago. It's still hot. And what I'm going to do is transfer this over here. And we're going to 
take all this yummy goodness and we're going to transfer it into our pasta. And kind of work it in. Now we are going to add a little bit more olive oil to this mix. I'd say, oh, about three or four good drizzles. And then we're going to measure out about maybe a cup and a half of cheese here. And then maybe another half cup, of which I need to use another one. I got another one here, another container of it. Okay, here we go. So now we're just going to work this in. And there you go, you have a good meal. Which would be good with some crusty French bread or some homemade bread. But I think we should take a taste of this here. So I'm gonna pull some out. We wanna get a little bit of the pasta. <laughs> A little bit. I also want some of the goodies. <laughs> you want to get some of that good um, mixture. We're also going to add a little bit of chives, which I have just a little bit left. I'm going to go ahead and use those. We're going to mix those in too. Give it that extra punch that it needs. Turn off that and we will do our taste test here. All right, so we've got our pasta with six ingredients or so, but you can make it with less. It took me less than 30 minutes to do this, and let's see how it tastes. So we want some of the pasta. We want a little bit of everything in there. That is a really good tasting pasta. The cheese adds a little saltiness to it. The Polish sausage is yummy. 
We've got the onion, the pepper. It all just goes together so beautifully. And like I said, 30 minutes or less, you can do this. If you get your pasta water going, you know, as soon as you get home from work or 30 minutes before you're ready to eat, go ahead and get that pasta water going. Get it going really good. Get your pasta going in there and then start on the rest of your ingredients. And if you're just going to add cheese and a little black pe cracked back black pepper, that's just fine too. Olive oil, cheese, and cracked black pepper go wonderfully with all of this. A little French bread, a little Italian bread. Mwah, you got it. You got the whole shebang there. So that is what I have for you today. And I thank you for coming. If you like what I'm doing, if you like these videos, please subscribe, like, and share because that's how YouTube, uh, you know, gets us on the charts there, as you might say. And uh, basically, uh, I enjoy doing this. So uh, if you like them, please uh, leave me a comment. If you have any questions, uh, I'll have the description of the recipe down below in the description box. I also will have uh, my Gmail in there as well. So until the next time, uh, you have a great uh, day and love you guys and let not your heart be troubled.